Baby Nate, Caitlin, Cassidy, Tasha, oh, Abby, Harrison, okay. your mom. Awesome. Cocktail Corner with VNXD. I, of course, am your host, VNXD. Here at Cocktail Corner, we both serve up drinks and looks. And so we'll just go through tonight's look from head to toe. This is a look you've seen in pieces, but I've run out of the looks officially, so I'm just recycling the old looks. So we got the old classic Mickey hat, the old dad hat. We got the, um, this is the way shirt that Anita made for me with her cricket. Um, the Mickey pajama bottoms, and then the goofy socks down at the bottom there. So, uh, yeah, tonight we're going with a green theme for our drink. So that's why I got all the goofy set to green. Uh, we're going to make the Welsh Dragon, which Tasha made in our Drinking Around the World video. Uh, but she didn't have quite a few of the ingredients that she needed for it, so she made a version of it with what she had. So I should have all the right ingredients for everything we need for it. So we should be able to get the correct Welsh Dragon here tonight. Uh, so I'll walk through kind of the ingredients of what we have. So we have some peach schnapps. We have some creme de menthe, uh, melon liqueur. And then the recipe calls for pineapple and orange juice to taste. So I got them out here. I don't know. We'll test it and see how it tastes, but we might do that based on that. And then we have some cherries here for our garnish. So this is gonna be a nice green drink. Yum. Uh, Hi, Kaylee. She just joined. She joined? Awesome. Hi, Kaylee. We got the music playing from the UK Pavilion here. So we're, uh, this is a drink for those who haven't been to Epcot before. This is a drink you would find at the Rose and Crown Pub in the UK Pavilion. Uh, yeah. So let's just start off. So the recipe calls for our 0.75 an ounce of the peach schnapps. So I'm making two drinks here, so we're going to go one and a half ounces. There we go, one and a half ounces. 0.75 ounces of the melon liqueur as well. They use, I know in Disney they use, and I think in the States in general, they use Midori. Is there melon liqueur there? I don't think we, I don't know if we sell that in Canada. I have never seen it. Is that it. just a name? That's like, like the bottle just says Midori. Oh, is it green? Yeah. It is a melon liqueur. Brand. I know it's a melon liqueur, but mm -hmm. yeah, it just says Midori. Oh, your dad just joined. Yeah, yeah, my dad's here. All right, and then it calls for half an ounce of the creme de menthe. So we'll be doing one ounce of that. Oh, that is green. It's thick too, from what I remember. Ooh, it smells nice and minty. Yeah. Okay, and then pineapple and orange juice to taste. So what, what do you think, Nita? How much do you want to do an ounce of each? Two ounces of each? Mm, how much liquid is in there? Well, you got about yeah. four ounces in there of alcohol. Yeah, maybe do an ounce An ounce each? of each. And we'll see. It'll be strong an ounce in each. At my work, we have this drink that we make, and it's a hot drink. It's a new peppermint Nutella mocha, so we steam milk with a scoop of Nutella, and then we add a double espresso shot with creme de menthe. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think we're gonna need an ounce and a half of each. Maybe. I think an ounce of each is not gonna be enough. Your mom says too spicy for you, Steve. 
Me, I'm okay with. Me, just fine. He had some chili flakes in his food today. Wasn't a huge fan of that part of the dish. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, guys, we braved Costco today. I got pineapple juice. It was a time. It was, yeah, that was an experience. <laughs> I wish we had the fast passes that the Express members had. Yeah. If it keeps it up when we have to renew our membership, we might be buying the fast pass. <laughs> if you are an executive member, so if you have the black card, you basically have a, a fast pass to get into Costco. They could skip the regular line. We waited, we waited about 20 minutes. So yeah. Not too bad. But then, like, the line, too, it just adds up. It's just extra time yeah. from your day. Top it up off with the juices. Yeah. Your mom says, really? Black card holder here. Yeah, so if you walk towards the front of the line, there is another queue set up, and it had maybe five people, and they were flashing their cards in. We noticed it on our way out. Yeah, I didn't notice on my way in, but on the way out, we definitely saw some people. Yeah, let's top it off with some juices. Evan here. has a black card, and Kaylee says. Well, there you go. You guys mm -hmm. can pick the lines. Because we were past the garden center, where it kind of loops back by the we parking were, yeah, lot. Yeah, we were be behind the building. Like, we had to go the full way where they got the switch back set up, if you guys have been there recently. So. Tasha says, are you sure that's not front of line, front line workers? I saw black cars in all their hands. So, I don't know, maybe? Maybe. But they all have black cars in their hands. Huh. Maybe look that up. I could be wrong. I could be talking out of my butt. All right, guys. <laughs> Reusable straws, always. Okay. So let's try it and see. It looks pretty green. It's a nice green color. I think it could be a little greener. Maybe add a little more alcohol to it. It looks. It's like because the orange juice. There's a bit of pulp thick. in the orange yeah, juice. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks. Yeah, the orange juice is like with a pulp. So, and because I put it on top, I put it on top rather than shake it with. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. Oh yeah. I can taste that mint in there. I can see why Tasha put the rumple in there. It tastes like a fruity candy cane. Yeah, this is good. I really like this. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna make a second one for myself once we're done drinking this. <laughs> Gotta to top it with the cherries though, of course. It looks a little sad though. We need to figure out a better glass situation. I should maybe test these out to see the size they make with glasses because. Well, they actually put it in a pretty decent sized glass in the park. I think that, well, I think they just put it in the little 12 ounce plastic cup. I think. I could be wrong. I remember it being pretty. I have a photo of myself. With yeah, one. I don't think it's the 20 ounce cup that we used to serve the beers in. I think it's 12 ounce cup. Well, mm. I like this one. This is good, guys. I'd recommend this. Uh, if you can find the recipe, this is a nice fruity drink got a little bit of it mm -hmm. reminds me a little bit of christmas i guess with the yeah it's there. like a fruity candy yeah. cane so the pineapple juice it's not oasis sorry guys no this but is um pineapple puree i don't know that would probably make a good pina colada it'd probably be also good with the uh dole whip yeah um it's pretty pineapple-y it smells pretty pineapple-y uh we got a four pack of this for like six bucks so it was a good deal yeah Marco. harrison just said oasis no, man, Costco. This is the good stuff. We found the price of the meat was more expensive than usual, I think. Today, yeah. So we didn't really get Yeah, we didn't buy any. too much meat. We had to go for litter mainly. That was a big thing. Kitty we had a litter for the kids. Garbage bags. Yeah. Basic household items. Yeah. Okay. So the drink is done. The drink is good. I would recommend this. If you have these ingredients at home, which I know, like, I didn't have... I normally wouldn't have these ingredients at home. I went out and bought the creme de menthe yesterday, um, specifically for this drink. And there's a few other recipes that I saw that had it in it. So hopefully we can get our yeast out of it. If not, I'll make this drink a ton because I like it. I'll get some espresso and we can make Nutella mochas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but now on to the next part of the show, which is the Disney treasures. Disney treasures with BNXD. So I have here, um, 
some snowmans that I bought. So I know it's not Christmas time right now, but you know what? It could be Christmas time anywhere. Time. So these are from Jim Shore, which again was another the guy that carved my haunted mansion and parts of the Caribbean figurines. I really like his carving. So the first one here, you got Mickey putting a star on the tree with Pluto down there. Oh, you got Chip and Dale on the snowman's arm there. Um, just lots of details. All the snowflakes he carves in it. All mm -hmm. the backside, just all the carving in the back. I really like all these mm -hmm. designs. Um, I think you bought me that Christmas of 2015? I know. I bought you both of these for Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. So there's that one. That was the first one I got as the snowman's. And then we got this Beauty and the Beast snowman. Um, so you got Belle and the Beast down there. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> that was gross. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Right in the camera, too. Uh, you got the rose up there he's holding. He's also holding Lumiere over there. <laughs> and just like the cape. It's kind of like the beast. Mm -hmm. They have a Cinderella one, but we can never find it. Yeah, I don't think they sell the snowmen anymore because I haven't seen any more of, the, of his Disney snowmen at least. He has other... Like, if you guys ever go into like the Hallmark store or Carlton Cars, which I guess doesn't exist mm -hmm. anymore, they all went bankrupt. Well, the Hallmark store has a bunch of Jim Shore figurines. Uh, always. They always have a bunch of them. So that's where I get a lot of these ones. A lot, some of them I got in the Disney parks, but like I know these snowmans I got from the Hallmark store mm -hmm. here. I got my mom a really nice Snoopy. Yeah, he does Snoopy like... Snoopy snowman. He does some really nice Grinch work around Christmas time. They always release a bunch of his Grinch figurines. He does um, all sorts of kind of movies. He does Wizard of Oz. He does Peanuts. He does... I haven't seen him do any, like, superheroes yet, but I'm sure he would eventually. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I think that'll do it for today's show. A nice, simple cocktail, but very, very good. I like this one quite a bit. Um, I give it two thumbs up. Yeah. I'm probably gonna make a second one for myself once I go through this first one. Um, oh my goodness. Maybe make it a little more. So maybe I would do an ounce of each of the alcohols. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then maybe 0.75 at the creme de mint, just so I can get a little more, get it a little further. Because otherwise, if you make the recipe I have, it makes quite a small cocktail. I feel like. Uh, so, yeah. But I think that'll do it for tonight, guys. I have plans on two videos that I want to film tomorrow during the daytime. I think I'm just gonna film them and upload them to YouTube. Maybe I go live with one of them. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see about that. And then I do plan on still going live tomorrow night with the video. So, um, yeah, check, tune in tomorrow night. And then hopefully I'll have a few videos that I can upload to YouTube throughout the week. And then I'm not sure what my work schedule looks like for next week. So I don't know what the schedule is going to look like for Cocktail Quarter next week. But, um, yeah, still have Glow Cube in there. <laughs> nice and green. You know what? That fills the cup out a little bit more with Yay. the Glow Cube in there. Uh, but yeah, so that'll do it for tonight, guys. This um, job sucks. This job sucks. All right. <laughs> guys, we will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye.